right now. Right now, Windsor is killing them on the inside. And when pressure comes from the middle, a quarterback has no chance. I mean, he did not have enough time to do anything on that play. Robert Windsor playing the best football of his career. Big play there for the Penn State defense. Robert Windsor did have a fabulous game. Two and a half tackles for loss, one and a half sacks in Penn State's win over Iowa. He joins us now from our studio in State College. And Robert, as you look back on that game, what about that matchup was most favorable for you personally? Uh, I would just say their scheme, you know, and we were able to stop the run, which created opportunities for me to pressure the quarterback. They don't really play vertical, they play left to right, on a lot of stretch, a lot of zone. So, and I, I feel like I'm pretty quick laterally, so that kind of helped me. Was there a moment where you realized, I mean, we're sitting there watching the game in our green room and just saying, man, Windsor is having an unbelievable game. Do you have like a moment of awareness in the middle of a game where, you know, this is going pretty well? I mean, yeah, like you, you could just feel the energy and it's almost like I was in a flow state. Like I could feel like I was in my zone. Like I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about anything. I was in the current moment and things were just coming together. And obviously like, when I say I'm in the current current moment, I'm not thinking like, oh, I'm doing great. It's kind of like after I make a stop and I'm on the sideline, I'm like, okay, I got to keep this going. Like things are going well. Coach said in his news conference afterwards that the ride home would be like the film Soul Plane. This will come as a huge shock to the people who work with me, but I'm not intimately familiar with the film Soul Plane. So give me a sense of what that scene was like. I'm right there with you. I'm not familiar with Soul Plane, but, <laughs> but the, ride, the ride home was a good one. Everyone was happy. We were congratulating each other. It was just enjoyable. So I'm imagining Soul Plane was a positive movie because <laughs> there, were some, there were some good vibes on the plane. I mean, it's a pretty long plane flight, so I get how much celebrating goes on on a flight like that, how much of, of guys trying to you know, get ahead on the next game plan, watching film, whatever it might be. Get, give me a sense of, of how that flight transpires. So it's like the first 30 minutes, we're all excited. We're trying to, trying to like look up online what's going on, like what people are saying about the game, highlights. And then like another 30 minutes later, half the team is asleep because we, <laughs> we just played our butts off and we're all tired. All right, well, let's fast forward to this week. You've got a huge whiteout game. What's it like to play in that atmosphere, the whiteout at Beaver Stadium? It's unbelievable. And I'll never forget my first time doing it. It's just... As I was walking down the tunnel, I just had goosebumps. There's no atmosphere like it in the world, and the students are excited. It'll be, it'll be awesome. What do people say to you during the course of the week as you're walking through campus? Do you get kind of that, hey, have a good game and all that? Yeah, it like, definitely. Like, people know who I am. Not like it wasn't always like that. Just because I had this game, people were like, coming up to me like, oh, great game, Rob, great game. I'm just like, thank you, thank you. And it's, that wasn't always like that before Saturday. So let's fast forward to this game uh, against the Wolverines. What's the biggest challenge as you watch them that their offense presents? Uh, stopping the run. I think they're great. They have a great O-line on the inside, the best we face. So it'd be a great challenge for our defensive tackles. Do you guys feel overlooked at all? I mean, there's so much buzz about Ohio State and Wisconsin early on this year. I would even say Minnesota to a certain extent, generating a lot of publicity just because of how unexpected it has been, and then there's Penn State sitting there, and it doesn't feel like people are talking about you as much. Do you get that sense? I really don't. I, I don't really pay, and it's probably because I don't pay attention to the buzz. I just worry about what I can control, and I feel like that's what a lot of guys on our team do, and I feel like that's why we've had the success we've had. So we're going to take it game by game, and then we'll prove ourselves when the time comes. Well, you have proven yourself in the Big Ten. You're a Wisconsin kid. You are not a particularly high-profile recruit. How was it, what, what was kind of the process of you ending up at Penn State? Well, I didn't really receive an offer till October my senior year. And out of the blue, I got an offer and then they all just started coming in. And Penn State got on me way before Wisconsin did. Like Wisconsin didn't offer me till like three weeks till signing day. And by then I was like already so bought into Penn State. I loved it there and kind of glad with my decision now. What do you think they saw in you that others didn't? Potential. 
this will be my, my potential. Because if you go back and watch my high school, because, like, yeah, I'm not playing great competition, but I'm big and I have, I have speed, and I think they, they were able to translate that to potential. You mentioned your size. You're not quite as big as you used to be. You lost a lot of weight this yeah. offseason. How has that impacted your play? Well, it's, made me, it's, it's allowed me to play faster and be more shiftier. And it's not as easy for quarterbacks and running backs to run away from me because I can keep up now. Robert, finally, as you head into this game on Saturday, what is the biggest thing in your mind you guys need to do to win? Stop the run. That's the huge thing. We're going to worry about stop the run, stop the run, stop the run, make them pass the ball, and that's when our D-line will get loose and we'll, we'll get pressures on that quarterback and make them feel us. So Coach Franklin's Twitter feed is Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. Yours would be stop the run, stop, stop the, the run, run, stop, stop the, the run, run, stop the run, stop the run. That's right. <laughs> All right, Robert Windsor, pleasure to visit with you. Thanks for taking a few minutes out, and best of luck this weekend. All right, thank you.